Now at seven, he was sent to Ohio's death row in 2010, but now a serial killer may be heading back to court in hopes of getting off death row. Not on your side's Ashley Zilka explains why Anthony Kirkland could be getting a new sentence. Ashley. Well, Julie, the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office is asking the Ohio S Supreme Court to reconsider, but as of now, Anthony Kirkland is allowed to challenge his death sentence. In March of 2010, convicted killer Anthony Kirkland learned his fate. Family members of his victims didn't hold back. Harsh words from relatives of 14-year-old Cassonia Sherry Crawford. I want you to die slowly, but it's not going to happen. It's real easy when they put that needle in your arm, you just go on. We have to continue to live. Between December of 2006 and March of 2009, Kirkland murdered two women and two girls across Cincinnati. He strangled, sexually assaulted, and set his youngest victim, 13-year-old Esme Kenny, on fire. He previously served a 16-year sentence for killing his girlfriend back in 1987. He couldn't care less about anybody but himself, and um, I'm just glad he's going to be living in a cage from now on. Now the Ohio Supreme Court is granting a motion for a new sentencing hearing after ruling on a pill made by Kirkland's defense team last week. The appeal is based on the death penalty sentencing procedures out of Florida. The prosecutor's office said today they will ask for clarification on that ruling and will file a response. Now if the Ohio Supreme Court decision stands, Kirkland could be back here in Hamilton County with a jury deciding his fate once again. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.